What's up, you guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the Skyrender, and we got to capture the worker. Like finally, like, look at this! Look at this! This is beautiful. I've been working around a few filtering, so um, this quality is good. But I want more. I really, really want more. So yeah, it's coming. It's definitely coming. I'm very happy to have it working finally. And, well, today we're going against Anima, or Elora Davis, one of the toughest players I know. And, you know, we've been friends for quite some time. I think we've been friends for half a year. Um, we're, I was basically knowing her when she was starting Pocketube and through another guy named Just Meanwhile. And, um, basically, she was very tough when she was starting out, very good trainer. And, um, yeah, she got even better and better. And, uh... This time is no joking around. She was hinting out that she was going for a so team or you know a safari team basically. So my first thought in here was where is the Yerafarig? Where is it? But it was actually in mind here, I had that decisive point that before going into this battle, I need to be aware of she's gonna wield Sap Zipper because I did expect the referee after all. But we got Buffalo and Silver Strike for Alligator, which is is so strong, I don't get it. Why, why is it an NU? Uh, Hippotus, um, Roselia, and the uh, Lipod. And, uh, yeah, no, Pyroar, sorry. <laughs> and I basically, since I know Anima so well, I decided to not bring any, like, defined walls. I just decided I need to be as offensive as possible. I was definitely going for a win here, and I knew I needed as much power as possible, and, you know, wall out necessary stuff. I know if she gets me through more than 25 turns that I'm I will lose because I can't um, I can't deal with that in the long run so uh, with that in mind let's actually get to it so my usual lead is actually it's a go with go guys usually but I decided to you know I want my rocks up and she's gonna start off with the live pod fuck uh, the pyroar and um, basically this was you know it took me some time before I decided to not go for the aqua jet and uh, I think she was in the middle of that too, process that either she lose the life or fuck the pyro. <laughs> what is the matter with me? Uh, but yeah, if she lose the pyro from Aqua Jet or if she going over here to Power Grass. And I did not expect him to Power Grass to be honest. And I take that for being four times effective. I really, I, I deal with that, obviously. And the Aqua Jet here will do nothing. And uh, I real I was forced to do for that because I didn't, I couldn't stain for another hit. I really couldn't. And um, basically here, I decide to switch out. I know that it's very likely that she will go for spikes, but and I wanted, didn't really want to go for a knockoff in that for the case because she will go blue rate with the Ring. So she gets another layer of spikes. And, you know that is terrible because I did not expect her to be a setupper, and I know spikes is gonna do a lot of numbers on my team here. So I'm just gonna go for Ash Guard my. Glalie, which always it's BL3, which I actually I didn't know until this battle. So she kind of shows me rest. So now I got a natural cure, rest, spikes. I was at this point like, mm, no, thank you. And I did expect to switch out. And sadly, I don't have freeze dry. I don't know why I didn't have that. But I decided to go for an earthquake. I did want some neutral damage. And uh, you know, I don't get it why Glalie is you know in RU ish because it's. It's not that good, it really isn't. It has clear limits of, you know, Ice Type would be in one of the worst typings ever, at least defensively. Physically, or, you know, offensively, it's great. But, you know, yeah, that, that, as an offensive or defensive typing, it's terrible, it really is. So, anyway, I decided to go for Cresto because I know Waterfall was coming. There was no reason for her not to go for that neutral action. And I was on the men, so if I should explode or not, but. I really didn't want to lose it just yet, and I'm not sure I could have taken out for that range. And you know, showing leftovers means that you know I am in a very bad position. So anyway, I decided to not go for an energy ball because I knew that she probably has sap zippers, and showing silver strike for me means that it's definitely have the sap zipper. So I did not expect her to go for an overheat because it wouldn't take it out because I'm definitely assault vested and I can deal with a lot of things. And uh, I decided to go for an energy ball here just to actually taunt her because I knew that she would go for a will-o-wisp. So I just thought that, yeah, 
I can be the douche here and just <laughs> just show that off. She goes for Roselia, sadly, but uh, you know, I, I did just I did that for the giggles. I really did. So anyway, getting hurt by spikes and Kecleon is definitely a winning condition. Kecleon is designed for players like Elora. Uh, it can deal with a lot of pressure and doesn't die easily and uh, hit off every, any offensive or defensive pokes in the field. As we see her, I'll pull off a knockoff. You know, it will deal with everything on her team. And after this, I'll decide to go for an ice punch for super effective damage. There is no way in hell that this Hippo or Hippopos, uh, we're just gonna call it Flushy. Because Flushy is uh, just one of those pokes that are ex extremely defensive, but Kekler can deal with that with that combination. And Brain Punch to actually recover some HP. I am Assault Vested, but I'm switching around between Life Orb and Assault Vest. Works great for both the sets, but this time I decided to go for Assault Vest. So anyway, the Feraligator here. I really didn't want to switch out, so I decided to go for Dream Punch here. And the Waterfall is actually doing some fair damage here. It is in the 70-ish damage, but after Dream Punch here, I should be able to live one more, but I actually forgot to think about the torrent, that, that ability, so I did the calx after here and uh, I had no way in hell of living that waterfall after that and that was really really sucked because because I didn't you know calc for that or thought about the torrent I lose my Kecleon which was a great winning condition throughout this team only for alligator can really stop it and sadly she does do that and that is just terrible that she decided to actually finish my Kecleon off and I do barely live an Aqua Jet here with the Torrent intact. I decided to go for Explosion because that was really my only way of actually pulling this off. Plus Ash Guard is really ugly, is not that good. But I got Explosion on it, I mean, come on! <laughs> that is awesome! So anyway, I go into Silmeria. I have no way in hell of using this Pokemon properly. And with, of course, the Hazards inbound, I am doomed. I really am. That is at least 30% of my HP gone, turn 1. And I have no reason not to uh, go for Psychic here because I knew it was very obvious for her to go into Roselia. But of course, Roselia being with Evil Light and all, being extremely defensive or special defensive, which means that I really can't break it. It's, it is beyond me. Uh, so I have to decide here and do a decisive move, which is that I'm gonna sack it to get an honest chance to bring in my Minerva, my set up my. <laughs> my stored power meow stick which since she doesn't have any dark types which is completely walled by uh, I can easily set up here and I knew I needed at least three calm mines or two calm mines and one barrier to one shot everything on her team so I had that in mind or not to um, let's see yeah two calm mines and two barriers or three calm mines so I decided to go for barrier here thinking that she will switch out but she will just keep going attacking and you know slash bomb having that 30% chance of poison is an issue, it really is. Uh, so I decide to rest here because obviously I can't take another one. And the Chester will activate, and that combo is just great, it really is. So anyway, I know after one barrier, at least I'm in a free range HP of dealing with the Bufflin. So I decide to go for another Coal Mine uh, just to um, soak out whatever comes here. So now I'm fully, in, um, fully wheeled here to defeat whatever comes. But finally, you know, that's the price to pay for, you know, setting up against a tank. The hacks is there and 30% is a big chance, it really is, and I should definitely, you know, not get that, oh, how you call it, that greedy, but that's, like I said, that's the price you pay, I really want to win, and if you want to win, then you have to take the chance, and sadly, that sludge bomb was enough to um, score a poison on me, and at this point, I was just, right, I have at least two gold mines, so I know that I can just go for rest here, and uh, just wall the um, bufflant out if that's the case because like I said here after one barrier it is in a free hit KO range which means that I will get two times or two turns of sleep before waking up and the store power will be enough to, uh, to finish it so I had that in my mind and basically thought yeah yeah I got the game no way in hell it can she <laughs> she can break through but this Pokemon is choice banded and I definitely didn't call it for that I didn't need to cut for that, I didn't expect it at all, to be honest. And it is enough for a 2 hit KO, which means... Shit. It really means that I have no way of actually dealing with this. I decided to switch out because I was hoping that... Um, like I said, I know it's banded, 
but I just wanted to make sure <laughs> by actually not... Uh, since Asla was done from the get-go, I really just thought that I might as well do it, who cares. And um, yeah, I frisked the choice ban, which I did expect because of Minerva's damage. And I'm just going to go for Flamethrower. Um, I have no reason not to, really, and um, I have basically lost here because I couldn't, you know, starting off with Shadow Bolts here and, you know, whittle down Roselia's defenses. But at this point I was like, eh, who cares, the Buffalo will finish this game nevertheless because it's kind of obvious that it will outspeed my Gorgeist and uh, yeah, you just have to deal with that. It really came down to whether or not my Minerva could get poisoned or not. Plus the situation, like I mentioned there, that that uh, Buffalo was a choice bandit, which I didn't account for or rather I didn't expect for it. And it was definitely, definitely enough to finish me off. So. No, GG Alora. No, this is. I think this is the third time I'm losing to you, and uh, it's rough. It really is because this was actually the first time in a long time I actually decided to bring a team that I know can defeat her. You know, by playstyle, and she had developed such a <laughs> in such a good way as a battler that she definitely she got the upper hand and she definitely showcased her capabilities as a battler. And me losing as a result is it's really fine. It really is because she's just a great friend, and you know, getting this. Close battles where you understand your opponent, those are rare. So having a battle against her means so much because it really becomes a great battle because of that. So yeah, I'm actually very satisfied with this battle, I really am. And um, like I said, losing Kecleon that early was, you know, it was my own fault that that actually happened because I could have easily switched into Gore guys and we probably dealt with it much better. But I, I got greedy, I really did. And the same goes for the game I I got greedy, I wanted the last call mine so I know I could deal with the buffalo. And uh, yeah, that 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 is what happens. You, you know, you have to you have to kind of live with that. So anyway, guys, I hope you liked this battle. And for the battlers, or rather the viewers from Elora's channel, welcome to this very channel. And I hope you'll enjoy the stay. And don't forget to sub if that's the case. Like I said, chapter card is in the house. That is really not a good sentence at all, is it? But I'm definitely going to use it. Because there's no reason not to. And I'm going to stream more often now. That is so simple for me to get good quality. And, uh, you know, it tears nothing on my computer, which is great. And the rendering process is so smooth. It really is. Ah, it's such a, such a fine love that you just don't get it anywhere else. So, anyway, guys. You know, thank you for always watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you like this battle. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And remember... The sky is the limit. So have a good day, guys, and take care, right? Bye.